and she didn't want to be dependent on any man. So I'll tell you everything that happened in her life. Tell you if it ended well or not so that you can consider, you can judge. You know, you can make, you can come to a conclusion if it is, if it's worth doing. If you are a lady, if you are a guy. And also, because this happened in the eastern part of Nigeria, so you really need to, you got to think if it's worth it. I was telling you about, she made money. She had so many, she had properties, she had things. She was living comfortably. But that comfort, the comfort she had, she wasn't, she wasn't still complete because she had no husband. So as I was telling you, she started going out with this guy who is a brother in their, their church. They were like doing brother, sister stuff, but you know, going behind the, behind closed doors to sort out some adult stuff, you know. That continued till about a year or so. They now set in motion plans to get married. The, the lady, she faced some kind of obstacles along the way because this guy had nothing. While she, she was okay, she had things, she, she was a rich lady, she, she could pass for a rich lady. But she had, you know, fat bank, bank account, stuff like that. While they were making plans to settle down, to get married, the, the guy's people, they were happy because he, he was into buying and selling, but the business wasn't doing well. So he now relied on this lady to, you know, elevate he, his, his status. A social status per se. They got married, you know, had the nice wedding. She decided to do some things for to, to boost the guy's rep. First, they went to their village. The guy had no building, he had no house, he had he hadn't any any structure to his name. So she she erected a house in their village. Now returned to the city. When they uh, when they got back to the city she made plans she called someone in lagos who was into seafood the guy imports seafood fish all those stuff from in large quantities for sale they made arrangements the man came they had a discussion they met in a hotel they sat down they discussed they decided to build a cold room the lady brought brought money out. They built a cold room. All these things I'm telling you are not they are not made up stories. These are it's a real story. It's a true life story that I'm telling you. They built a cold room. Started the business. So the man was like the man who is going to teach him things about this business. He said first that he will send his boys to come and you know, get the place running while he will be managing it. It's not as if he's in full control. He's the ogre, but he does not have any say for the time being because this was a, a learning process for him. The man sent two boys from Lagos while the new cold room they opened was in the north. So two boys came from Lagos. They started teaching him things about running a cold room business. They, they will send trucks from, from Lagos to the north. They will do the offloading. Then those that, that sell retail will come and buy from them. The business was moving and this thing happened just after like, immediately they got married. Their marriage did not last a long time. They, their, married, their marriage lasted for two years the man became sick. Some people, some bad people, according to them, didn't, they didn't like his, the success that they were now seeing in his life. So he became sick. The sickness started with cough, normal cough. From cough, it went to purging, stomach problem. And that as at the time, 
they were like, ah, maybe he, he had HIV. But after series of tests in the hospital, there was nothing like HIV. There was nothing like HIV. They decided to take him to the village for treatment. They traveled to their village. But before they went to the village, let me make you understand the point I, uh, I was trying to make. During the two years they were married, this lady kept having miscarriages. She kept having miscarriages due to, maybe due to age or I don't know what could be the cause of the miscarriages she was having. But if she takes in, the pregnancy never lasted two, three months at most. It's off. Two, three months, it's off. Two, three months, it's off. Whew. So when this man was sick, she did all she could to get pregnant. Now, when the sickness became unbearable, you know what I mean, when it was getting off hand, she tried to get pregnant again with the intention of going to the hospital for them to do anything they could or anything they can to make sure that the pregnancy stays. But by this time, the man's gone couldn't cock again. The man's gun could not fire again. You see how it all went down. She got married, finally. Problem started after, after they've set up businesses for their, you know, family comfort and all that. Now problem started. Sickness, from sickness level one to level two, up to the time that this man died because from cough, stomach problem, he started, you know, going down, going down, going down until he died. When he died, the woman was like, now that the husband is dead, after a year, she mourned him for a year and decided to change her name back to her maiden name because she adopted the guy's son name after their wedding. So she decided to reverse back to her maiden name. She reversed back to their, her maiden name. His people didn't say anything. Her husband's people, her in-laws, they never said anything. Maybe that got her husband's people angry, but they never showed it because they were still enjoying the goodies of, you know, she being a, family, a member of their family until her own sickness started because she was so frustrated that she never found anything. So she never found anything lively again in her life in the sense that she wanted a man to call her own. She couldn't find another man to call her own. The way she was living, this is a way that some people were still thinking of, thinking of how to get to the place she had already attained, the stage that she had already attained. With all that, she wasn't happy. It's as if she was thinking a lot. She had emotional problems. She had stroke. She had stroke. She became bedridden for so many years. These people she called her in-laws that she did so many things for. She built a house for them. She set up their brother. She set up their brother so well that, you know, guys in his clique, they became envious of him. The only thing they could do was to turn their back on her. The father-in-law, the husband's dad, and his younger brothers. They went to her village and told her people that they are no longer interested in the marriage, that they were returning the drinks. <laughs> they were returning the drinks that they brought on her head. I don't know if, so they said they were not, that we are no longer interested in the marriage because the reason they gave is that she changed, she changed her surname, she changed, she removed their name from her own name when their son died, which means automatically she, she ceased to be their wife from the day she removed their name from her name. But she went through all this because of them. She helped them a lot. She built a house for them. She made life easy and comfortable for them. Even one of their sons, that his business was almost crumbling then. She assisted him with finance to boost his business. 
So the only thing they could do is to reject her by the time she needed them most. So that is what I'm saying that these standards don't always pay. That time the opportunity calls, grab it. If you are a man, grab it. If you are a woman, grab it. So what do you think? Was it because of the time that she wasted or the times that she waited to accumulate all this wealth before getting married that caused these problems? Is it because she got married late? Because she was over 40 when she got married. What do you think? Did her husband's people do well? Were they supposed to have rejected her when she needed them most? Did they do the right thing by saying that for her to have removed their name, their name from her name, that she committed an abomination? Because she removed their son name and left her late husband's name with her own name. Her name, then her late husband's name. Their son name, she removed it. She dropped it. That's if she removed it. She dropped it and now attached her late husband's name to her own name. It was on her official documents that you will only see her maiden name. Anything she does is her name and her late husband's name. Did her husband's people get it right by rejecting her and saying that they are no longer interested in marrying her while she was sick? And she died. She was buried. They were never there. None of them came. So leave a comment. Let's know your thought. If if they did the right thing, if it is worth doing, if life should be like this. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, share with your friends and families. Catch you guys in the next one.